wanna be in versus Manny Pacquiao, Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson, huh? Y'all wanted me to speak on Jake Paul all this time? Guess I'll finally do it. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications, catch me live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. I'm also live every Sunday morning with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. And I ask that you join the channel as a member. Drop super chats and super thanks when you come by the live streams and the videos that we that we do. And if you want to debate, knock out boxing at yahoo.com is the email address. Um, or you can just come by the channel while I'm live. We can get it cracking right then and there. So, we got announcements today about Conor being Manny Pacquiao, Jake Paul, Mike Tyson. And I just got to say, this shit horrible, bro. This is bad. This is bad in every sense of, of, of the word. And boxing just looks bad when shit like this happens, bro. This is a clown show. It's a freak show. Number one. Y'all told me that Saudi Arabia was good for boxing. Y'all told me that they only want to put on the biggest and best fights. Well, I know Francis Ngannou getting a shot at Tyson Fury and then now Anthony Joshua. And he's an 0-1 boxer. When he fought Tyson Fury, he was 0-0. Zero and zero. And Then he loses to Tyson Fury. Controversial. He performed better than people thought. But we all know Tyson Fury was a fat, out-of-shape dude that didn't fucking train. Looked like the Michelin man. Anthony Joshua ain't gonna have that problem. But he getting shots and opportunities that other heavyweights been waiting their whole lives for. Yeah, yeah, that's good for boxing. Now we fast forward to this fight right here, Conor being Manny Pacquiao. So it's good for boxing, for Conor being supposed to be a top name, right? Supposed to be a big time, supposed to be a big time fighter at the welterweight division. Supposed to be one of the biggest names at the welterweight division. When you take out as far as name recognition, when you take out Earl Spence and you take out Terrence Bud Crawford at welterweight right now, when you look at the welterweight division, you got Jerome Boutinis and Conor Bean, and Conor Bean is going to spend his time just to go get some money. Matchroom Zone going to spend their time just to go get some money to send Conor Bean over there to, to Saudi Arabia against Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao, 40-something years old, 45, 46 years old, been out the ring three years. Lost his last fight badly to Yadina's Ugas, and 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 they just going over there. Why y'all ain't? Why they ain't putting the fight on over here in America or in the UK? They run around this bitch grabbing money. They ain't putting up no money for for no fight or no kind of magnitude. But I don't hear nobody talking about the zone broke. Meanwhile, y'all are shit on premier boxing champions when they when they insisting that Canelo Alvarez fight somebody with a pulse and they get Jamal Charlo to fuck off their contract. When they gave you Spence and Crawford, they sent Stephen Coolboy Fulton over there to top rank to fight Monster Anyway and Monster Anyway's best performance of his career. They gave you David Benavidez, Caleb Plant. They gave you David Benavidez, Demetrius Andrade. They gave you Javante Davis and, and, and Ryan Garcia. They're giving you Javante Davis and Frank Martin. Everybody had all the smoke in the world. This is why I'm going to find out if Devin Haney fans are... are or just Tank Davis haters, or if you really love boxing for real, because when the idea floated around of Tank Davis fighting Manny Pacquiao, I raised my hand and said, that's absolutely garbage. That's absolutely a trash fight. It'll do good business, but it's a horrible fight in the ring. They probably make some money off of it, get a big bag, because Manny Pacquiao fans think he Benjamin Button out this bitch. But it ain't going to do good. And it ain't, it, ain't, it ain't a good look for Tank. It ain't a good look for boxing. And what y'all tell me? I mean, that's exactly who Tank will fight. Y'all going to cook Conor Ben today? This welterweight that, oh, Jerome Boutinis, bring him on. Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford, bring him on. I'm ready for all the smoke. I'm ready for all the smoke. And you fight Manny fucking Pacquiao, bro. This man just got through running for Congress, a president or some shit. Three years out the ring, ain't fought since August of 2021. What y'all gonna fight the summer of 2024? Absolute garbage, bro, and a black eye for the sport of boxing. An even bigger black eye. An even bigger black eye. Jake Paul, Mike Tyson, bro. How old is Mike Tyson? Mike Tyson, 57 years old, dog. 
Mike Tyson, 57 years old. They about to sanction him and Jake Paul in a real fight. Here at ATT Stadium in Dallas, Texas. Keep my money in my motherfucking pocket, though. They suspend Keyshawn Davis for marijuana here in Texas. When he fought in Texas against, uh... Damn, I forget, buddy. Now, he a good fighter, too. They ruled a no contest, man. Damn. Anyway, he got suspended for marijuana here in Texas. But y'all gonna, gonna sanction Mike Tyson, though? At 58 years old? I understand Mike Tyson, the freak of nature. He a hell of a fight athlete. He look good hitting them mitts, hitting them bags and shit, but he 58 years old. And y'all told me Jake Powell wanted to be a real boxer. Y'all told me Jake Powell was in this for the sport and shit. To really try to fight real fighters. Mike Tyson a real fighter right now? At 58 years old? Y'all crazy as hell, bro. How this good for the sport that we all love? This is the only time I'm talking about it. I ain't talking about it on my live. I'm just doing this shit to say that these are the types of fights on this channel that we protest against. Shit, and keeping it all the way 100, the only reason I'm doing the Anthony Joshua, Francis and Gunnu fight is because my homie Tay D asked me to, bro. If Tay D didn't ask me, if Tay D didn't ask me to do a prediction on on uh Anthony Joshua and Francis and Gunnu, I wouldn't even do that shit. And it's going to be a members-only video. I ain't doing it for the views. I'm doing it because the homie asked me to. And all my predictions are, are uh, members-only videos, bro. So, you can't explain to me how making a making boxing a freak show, making it a clown show, why that's good for boxing. Netflix getting into boxing on some clown shit. Now, there's rumors that they trying to do some shit with Premier Boxing Champions, some real shit. We'll see. There's rumors that they are the other partner that Premier Boxing Champions is, is, is talking to to get a second network involved. We'll see if that's true or if that's false. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see about... uh. They're talking about some Celestial TV deal where they put it on like an NBC or, or uh, CBS or Fox or you know Spike TV, some shit like that. We'll see. We will see if that's what they decide to do. But these two fights, just look at boxing right now. You got the shit that's going on with Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia and how Ryan Garcia is behaving. You got Jake Powell, Mike Tyson. You got Anthony Joshua, Francis and Gunn. You got Manny Pacquiao, Conor Bean, bro. Boxing off to a slow start. The summer can't get here fast enough. They got me really just, just hoping that, that they announce the goddamn Canelo fight soon. I'm looking at Premier Boxing Champions like, please announce your schedule because this shit right here so far been bullshit. I'm waiting on Jesse Bam Rodriguez and motherfucking uh, Juan Francisco Estrada to drop. I'm trying to see what Junto Nakatani got going on next. I'm waiting on Jerome Boot Tennis to drop. David Benavidez, David Morel Jr., Arthur Baturbiel, and motherfucking Dimitri Bival. What's up with Jao Pataya? Feel me? Monster in the way, Luis Neary. Them the fights I'm talking about, bro. This shit right here, this Jake Paul, Mike Tyson, Manny Pacquiao, Conor B and shit, bro. Get that shit out of my face. Get that shit all the way out of my face, bro. And I hope Mike Tyson and Manny Pacquiao beat the shit out of both of them. Yeah, I hope they do. Subsequently, ending any notion that those two are serious, serious boxers, bro. I'm rooting for Mike Tyson to, to catch Jake Paul and knock him the fuck out. And I'm rooting on Manny Pacquiao to go to the founder of youth and beat the shit out of Conor Bean, bro. That's what I would like to see happen. Because fights like this should be beneath Conor Bean. He ain't trying to be a champion for real. He ain't trying to really fight like that for real. Fight nobody like Manny fucking Pacquiao. Fights like this for Jake Paul should be beneath him. Y'all told me the man wanted to be a real boxer. And I always told y'all that shit cap. He lying to y'all. And now look at him. Money grab. 
oh, let's go make, let's go have a freak show, clown ass show with Mike Tyson. And some of y'all gonna buy that shit. Hopefully nobody watching this video. Hopefully you a diehard fan or a casual fight fan and want to see real fights. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. I ain't talking about this shit no more. I think this shit trash. It's bad for boxing. Connor Ben, get his ass the hell up out of here. I hope Manny Pacquiao beat his ass. Trying to cherry pick Manny Pacquiao. Been out the ring three goddamn years. 45, 46 years old. I hope Mike Tyson do that, that shit and come up with a left hook and rock the shit out of Jake Paul. Knock him the fuck out. I'm going to be laughing my ass off if I get to see them highlights, bro. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think of these fights, man. I ain't talking about that shit no more. We ain't talking about that shit tonight live. You want me to talk about that shit? You heard it on this video. That's it. That's all. Let me know what y'all think. Comment below. Smash the like. I'll see y'all soon. Peace out.